everybody welcome back to another video on my channel so today I'm going to show you how to create this full look we will be encapsulating in gel as well as doing glitter and stamping so if you want to see how it's done and the techniques I use to create these nails then just keep watching so to start off with I have prepped and applied tips and done a builder in a bottle from the gel bottle ink in number 17 overlay over the tips and on the ring finger I've used the gel bottle ink builder in a bottle number 20 and I've only applied one thin layer of this because this is the nail we'll be encapsulating. So I'm going to use the gel bottle ink clear rubber base as my sticky layer to add the little magpie triangle studs into this layer. So I'm applying one thin layer of this to my nail and I'm not curing so I'm going to leave leave this wet and then I'm going in with the magpie dark triangle studs I'm going to be using a crystal picker upper this is just a cheap one from eBay and it does the job perfectly so I'm going in one by one and applying the little triangles onto the wet gel I'm checking back to my other nail on the other hand that I've already finished to check that I'm getting the placement right and the amount of triangles and the positions that they need to be in correct so I'm just going in one by one and applying them constantly checking back to my other nail so once I'm done I'll be back to tell you what the next step is When you are creating your design, you can do it differently. You can apply as many of these little triangles in a different pattern. You can do it in so many different ways. It's completely up to you what design you create with them. They are so versatile. Make sure you check before you cure it in your lamp for a full cure of 60 seconds that they are laying nice and flat. And when you're happy and you've got them in the perfect position, cure in your lamp. I'm then going to be going in with the gel bottle ink clear build in a bottle to encapsulate this nail and to create my strength and apex on this nail because this is an extension over a tip I still need to create that strength in this layer so I'm first off going in with a small bead applying it onto the whole entire surface of the nail brushing down this I find helps to minimize the amount of bubbles in the nail I'm then going to use my brush and go back over the nail making sure I've covered each individual triangle from side to side checking from different angles to make sure they're all encapsulated and then curing in my lamp for 60 seconds once that's come back out the lamp I'm going in with my second and final layer repeating the same process so applying a thick layer of that gel over the whole entire surface of the nail by brushing it down and then I'm going to use my brush to move backwards and forwards to create a good apex in the center back third of the nail checking it from all angles if I need to hold my hand upside down to pull that apex into place and let gravity do its job once that's done curing your lamp for 60 seconds cleanse off with some cleanser or alcohol and then I'm going to give it a little bit of a buff I did find that I applied the gel really well in this instance so I only needed to give it a quick buff and a little bit of a refine with a nail file so I'm just going in with my normal filing routine which is side wall, side wall, around the cuticle area and then the whole surface of the nail, bearing in mind the apex of the nail and when you are filing just keep a real close eye that you're not filing through into those little triangles you're filing and getting the correct shape you want but you don't want to file too much and go through all those beautiful triangles now for the best bit the top coat and i'm using extreme shine top coat from the gel bottle ink and i'm applying a one layer of this to the nail and it will be completely done i will cure it in my lamp for 60 seconds let it cool for a bit and then i'll go in with cuticle oil but I just love applying the top coat when I'm doing encapsulated nails like this. It is so satisfying and I absolutely love it. So now onto the other nails, I'm gonna show you how I created those. I used one of the new Magpie glitters from their Autumn collection. This is Louise. They also have a few others in the collection. This one is Joyce. They also have this beautiful Christmassy red with holographic sparkles in it, which is Poppy. Also this one which is one of my favourites, it's a beautiful green called Olivia. 
Next one will be super popular all year round and this is Sienna which is a coppery gold. Then we have this one which is similar to Poppy but it is more of a pink burgundy which is Maggie. So I'm going to be using Marvelous Mavis as my base for these glittery nails. So I'm applying one coat of this and one coat is plenty because we are applying the glitter over the whole surface of the nail. It will cover any patchiness up and to be quite honest Magpie Gel colours are pretty pigmented and they cover in one coat anyway. So one coat is all it needs. You can see here how super creamy and beautifully they apply. I'm going to cure this in my lamp for 60 seconds and we're moving on to the glitter. So the glitter I'm using is the Magpie Glitter from the new autumn collection called Louise and it is a beautiful holographic cherry medium size glitter. I'm going to be using my Magpie Glitter applicator brush to apply this into that inhibition and tacky layer. So this nail has been in the lamp for 60 second cure and it's still got that tacky layer on the gel colour and then I'm just going to pat this glitter in. Because it is a slightly bigger sized glitter piece I, I find it works the best by dabbing it onto the nail. I'm then going to make a custom mix of Magpie Glitter Sharon and also Magpie Glitter Delia. One part Sharon, two parts Delia. Mix it up. These are two of the newest additions to the Magpie Supercharged Holographic Collection. They are beautiful. So I'm then going to go in with my brush and dab this over the nail. So what this will do is fill in any of the gaps that the other glitter hasn't gone to because they are slightly bigger particles. So it's really nice to apply this finer super holographic glitter to give it even more of a sparkly effect. So then using the Magpie Glitter Duster Brush, I'm just going to dust off any excess of that glitter. I'm then going to repeat that same process on the other three plain nails. And then I'm going to go in with the Gel Bottle Ink Extreme Shine Top Coat and top coat one layer over all of those glitter nails so that they are secured in and ready for stamping. So that's how all those four glitter nails look and look at that sparkle, a little bit of appreciation for how beautiful and high quality these Magpie glitters are. I mean look at that sparkle and those three glitters all together look so magical and beautiful. So on stamping I'm going to be using the Dixie Plates Double Diamond Duo Stamper and the Dixie Plate Scraper. I'm also going to be using the Clear Jelly Stamper Stamping Polish in number 35 and the Dixie Plates New Textures and Patterns plate and I do have a limited time only discount code for Dixie plates which I'll put up on screen now and I'll put all information on where you can use it and how to use it in the description box down below so go check it out if you want to purchase any Dixie plates. So going on to stamping now I'm just applying this image from the bottom row on the right hand side of the plate and I've left this bit of stamping in real time with no editing so you can see exactly how fast and how I stamp. So applying the polish, scraping down the plate, picking up my image with a flick of the wrist with hardly any pressure on the plate and holding that image down on the nail for a few seconds to make sure it is adhered properly and you can see how beautifully that image picks up off the plate. It's one of my favourite plates from Dixie Plate. Once I've finished the stamping design, I'm going in with the Gel Bottle Ink Extreme Shine Top Coat and applying one layer of this to every nail that has the stamping design on, making sure that image is all sealed in and will last the whole three weeks. So once I've applied that top coat to those four nails, I'm going to cure in my lamp for 60 seconds, wait for it to cool for a good minute, and then I'm going to go in and use a cotton bud and clean up any of the stamping design that has gone onto the skin around my nail so I'm just taking a cotton bud dipped in some acetone and wiping around that cuticle area and side walls to just get rid of any of that stamping polish. Applying cuticle oil and you are all done. This is the finished result and finished look. Look how beautiful that glitter is and how metallic and reflective those triangle shapes are on that ring finger. I love 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 how these nails turned out. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful and it showed you different techniques of using glitters, stamping and also how to encapsulate those triangle studs but can we just take a minute and appreciate how beautiful that sparkle is and the design over the top. I went for a geometric look. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorials like this and follow me on my Instagram, Isabel Nails, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!